Good day everyone, I am Lani Vihani Pipito, the 11th presenter entitled Hinilawug, translated to Tales from the Mount of Halawood River by Chukano Landa. But before that, let us know first the author's biography. So, Dr. Felipe Jucano F. Landa, or mas known as Jucano Landa, was born on February 5, 1930 at Kabatuan, Iloilo, Philippine Island, and died on October 27, 2013 at the age of 83. He was the first discovered by accident in 1955, the Hilo. Also, he translated the story. In Region 6, Hinilawood is an epic originating from the Visayas region in the Philippines and composed by Sulud people in Sulud Central Panay, Philippines. So now, here is the vocabulary. Before we proceed to the literary presentation, let me introduce the five episodes of Hinilawood. First, the story of Alucina and Datu Paubari. Second, the adventure of Lawaw Dungon. Third, the adventure of Humadapnon. Fourth, the adventure of Dumalapdap. Lastly, the quest of Humadapnon continues. Now, here is the literary text presentation or the summary of the story. In Sulod Mountain, there were goddess Diwata living there, named Alucina. The king of God decreed the beautiful Alucina, also called Lausina the unmarried one. Mary, upon reaching her maidenhood, drew all the unmarried gods from the every corner of the universe, tried to win her hand of marriage. She chose to marry the mortal Datu Paubari, ruler of the Hollywood. After several months, Alucina became pregnant with triplets. When the triplets were born, the couple called them Labaw Dungon, Humadapnon, and Tumalapdap. To the adventure of Labaw Dungon, when he reached the adulthood, Labaw Dungon, the eldest of the triplets, decided to go on the guest to find himself a wife. The journey to Handog took several days after Labaw Dungon killed the monster of Manalitan. He cut the tail of the monster and brought back to Handog as a proof of victory. He wins the heart of Abiyang Ginit Bitinan. After the wedding, Labaw Doon and his bride started their journey back his home. One day, Labaw Doon heard another beautiful woman named Angoy Durunuon of the Underworld. He court her and he wins her with no difficulty. He stay with her for a while and then return to Hando. Very soon, however, Labaw Dongun is once again restless with desire for another woman. This time, his shoes falls on unmarried woman Magito Yawa Sinugman in Diwata, who desired in a place where the brilliant lights of the sun stars. The Adventure of Humadapnon Humadapnon was visited by his parrot friend Daghoy and Duende in his dream and told him of a lovely maiden who lived in the village by the mouth of Halawood River. The demigod left his dominion to look for the maiden named Nagmalitong Yawa. He wrote with him a boat full of crew. Humadapnon and Nagmalitong Yawa were married soon at the Halawood. During the wedding fest, Humadapnon brother Dumalapda fell in love with Huyung Adlawan and asked her brother to help him to talk to parents from the maiden. It took the brother several years to come back with their journey to the upper world. The Adventure of Dumalapda Dumalapdap embarked on the quest of his own. He decided to go to Buratlakan Kaadlaw and marry the maiden Lubay Buyok Hanginun si Mahodyok Hidyokot. After several months of traveling, he faced to face with the headed monster called Balanakun. The monster guarded the ridge that to lead the place where the maiden lived. He managed to kill the monster but were confronted with another kind of monster when they reached the gate of the place whither the maiden lived. Called Oyutang, the monster was similar to the bat with a sharp poison claws. Dumalapdap fought with the Oyutang for seven months. With the monster Oyutang dead, Lubay Buyok Hanginon si Mahuyukuyukan was free to marry Dumalapnon. He brought her home 
and was reunited with his family. Datuk Paubari celebrated the return of his three sons with a big test. Now, let's move on to the literary text analysis. Exposition with the goddess of the eastern sky, Alucina, also known as Alucina, the unmarried one, reaches maidenhood, the king of gods, captain, decree that she should marry all the unmarried gods of the different domain of the universe try to win her hand to no will she chose to marry the mortal Dato Paubari, the mighty ruler of Halawood. Rising action when Labaw present beneath of Saragnayan. Climax the revenge for Labaw because Labaw is imprisoned beneath Saragnayan. He fought for freedom to save Labaw. Rising action every success of their fight when they saved Labaw Binet Saragnayan. Resolution Paubari was very happy when he reunited with his three sons and he prepared a fest with their honor. After the celebration, the three brothers left for different parts of the world. Labaw Dumon went to the north, Humadabnon went to south, Dumalabdab went to east, and Datu Paubari remained in the east. Here are the character of the story. The settings of the story, place, province of Panay, time, historical period. Conflict The conflict of the story is when the three sons of Alucina, goddess of the eastern sky, and Datu Pobari, the mighty of the rule of Hollywood, fight for their desire of wife. The triplet struggle and adventure for the desire wives, man versus man. The theme of the story, importance of family, honor, and personal courage and dignity. That's all. Thank you for watching. If you have any clarification or question, feel free to PM me.